Hey guys, hey YouTube, how's everybody doing today? Well, I have got a new movie review for you. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a professional movie reviewer. Um, I do not go super in-depth, and I'm okay with that. I hope you're okay with that. I just give you a quick little summary of the movie, uh, and just my kind of initial thoughts, and a little rating. <clears throat> And that's about as far as I go. Uh, if you want something different, there's a million other channels out there that will go further in depth. And there are some good good uh, channels out there. So, I do have things wrote on a paper here. I do have a cheat sheet. So, I, I'm old. I can't remember everything. So, I, I am going to use a cheat sheet for this. Okay, here we go. The movie is The Big Brawl. It came out in 1980. It stars Jackie Chan as Jerry Kwan. Uh, the main girl is Christine DeBell as Nancy. <clears throat> we have uh, the main boss, the main uh, uh, bad guy, if you will, a uh, mobster by the name of Jose Ferrer, and he plays Dominique. And then we have an old legend uh, actor. He's been in a ton of movies, Raiders of the Lost Ark. He was in uh, one of my favorite 80s movies in 86, um, Rad. He played the sergeant, uh, the police guy on there. And that is H.B. Haggerty. He plays the uh, main... Uh, challenge, if you will, of Mr. Kiss. <clears throat> He's a tough guy. So, what we have here is Jackie Chan plays a young American Asian martial artist. He's forced to take part in brutal street fight, brutal street fights. Um, after the mob kidnaps his brother's fiance. And basically, um, Jackie Chan, or Jerry Kwan, um, his father is forced to help support the mob, uh, or they will kill them or, and uh, hurt their business. They run like a, a food market of sorts, a little restaurant, something like that. <clears throat> so, so everybody in this area is kind of under the force of the Mafia. Um, the time frame is, I believe that it's the 1930s. I should have wrote that down, and I apologize for that. I thought I had that wrote down. Um, let's see. Uh, it's not a bad movie. Okay, who am I kidding? It is a bad movie. It's the worst Jackie Chan movie I've seen to date. Uh, I haven't seen every Jackie Chan movie, but the ones that I've seen, this is the worst movie I've seen. Uh, supposedly, this was his real breakthrough into the American audience, and I believe uh, they used some of the uh, directors or producers or something like that from a Bruce Lee movie to help try to, you know, get the name out there and uh, and whatever. You, but it. The movie fell real short. I believe I read somewhere where Jackie Chan wasn't uh, even happy with the movie. He was really displeased. And it, 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 you wouldn't think you'd find really a bad Jackie Chan movie. Or a bad martial arts movie. I mean, come on, they're fun. This is a bad one. Here's one thing I noticed. Some of the music seems totally wrong from the scene, for the scenes throughout the movie. Like, really odd music. And it's just, it, it's constant throughout the movie at points. It's something I noticed, I think it was the first thing I noticed, because it's the first thing I wrote down. It was, uh, it, it, the music was just weird. Didn't like it. Um, it's a, it's not your typical Jackie Chan movie, but it kind of is. Um, there's some light-hearted comedy fights. But they're underwhelming. 
they're they're slowed down. They look like I'm out there doing the fights. Um, you know how Jackie Chan's known for being really quick and snappy and all over the place, and it was just it was like a really slowed down version of it. Um, now I don't know if that's realistic movements or and, and, and they sped them up a little faster in newer movies or something, but I don't think so. Um, I don't think that's the case. <clears throat> so that that was the fight scenes are pretty underwhelming. Um, funny enough, uh, the old roller skate uh, battles. There's a roller skate battle in this movie. Uh, it's, it's it's funny to see Jackie Chan roller skating with some other guys and battling along the way. It's just kind of funny to see. So, um, and I also wrote down 30 minutes in, and it seems like one of his weaker movies. And yeah, even after an hour and 30 minutes, that's the same thing I felt. Uh, after after watching the movie, I was just I had to make myself watch the movie. After a while, I was just like, all right, I'm going to watch this movie. One, I'm a fan of Jackie Chan. I'm a fan of martial arts. Um, and I wanted to just do the little review. So I had to make myself watch it. <clears throat> so I also got wrote down where the fights are a little underwhelming. Not really up to Jackie, Stan, uh, Jackie Chan's normal standards. And I already mentioned that. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot is really in the movie, uh, no real big surprises, um, basically you have the mobsters threatening people, Jackie Chan's wanting to take a stand against them, he gets in a couple little fights with them and this and that happens and, and just, uh, in the end, and, and the big fight, uh, the big fight with, uh, Jackie Chan's character, Jerry Kwan, and H.B. Haggerty, uh, Kiss, uh, the, f the end fight was, eh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Mr. Haggerty, who plays Kiss, is, you know, more of your big, strong man, uh, he almost looks like a guy you'd see on a, a circus flyer with the big mustache and lifting the big round, you know, old-timey dumbbells and he looks like that. He looks just like that. And then you got little Jackie Chan. Eh, the fight was okay. It, it went as expected. Nothing new. Uh, which I'm okay with. I always like when the good guy wins. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but yeah, overall, it was, uh, it was just disappointing. Uh, you know, and, and I know this is his first venture into the American market and all, and at least there was no uh, voice dubbing or anything like that. It was uh, all spoken in American and English that I could that I could tell. And yeah, overall, if you're a big Jackie Chan fan, you know, watch it if you want. If you're just looking for some good martial arts. And, and classic, quick Jackie Chan, I'd say pass. Um, unless you just have some free time and you're just kicked back and whatever. Then, give it a shot, you know. Eh, what do you got to lose? So, overall, I think I'm going to have to give the big brawl uh, a 2 out of 5. I think a 2 out of 5 is being pretty good. Um, so far, to my knowledge, I've not seen a Jackie Chan movie I would rate that low. Uh, like I said, I'm a big fan. So, this movie has, you know, so that kind of lets you see that, you know, this movie's kind of down there. So, anyway, that's my review of Jackie Chan's The Big Brawl that came out in 1980. I hope you like my review. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. You like my channel, you like the videos, you leave comments, you share. Um, I'm looking to get my subscriber count up there a little bit. Uh, I don't try to make any money off YouTube. I do it just for fun. I do it a way to store my videos. And I also uh, 
leave my videos hopefully for people to enjoy when I'm gone. So uh, yeah, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next time. Get up, get out, get rad, oh! and do it to it. Wow.